poors and how they who relate who things out. Who do you think really gave it uh, there? Uh, uh, nah, nah, we can't talk about Iwisa right now. So fresh. Please, please ask me about this on our next episode. I'll tell you properly about Iwisa side. You understand? <laughs> I feel like anyway, it. who chose the characters? Who chose the who uh, who wait? I, I don't know about that. I I think um, we need to know that. That's another good question. Yeah. Jay. I ran up a check. I did it again. Got nothing to lose. But so much to gain. My rapping is crazy. I'm going insane. They ain't confused. But I'm with the games. Slay. I've also worked with uh, uh, Drum Pop from Mosquito Stable. Okay. Uh, he's a producer from uh, Mosquito Stable. All right. Uh, I've worked with a couple of people, uh, you know, and I decided, all right, I'm not gonna be able to do this forever. You understand? Uh, as you grow, you you yeah. need to you need to uh, pass the budget. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we have a lot of youngings. We have a lot of youngings. That want to learn how to do this. They actually enticed by the idea that you can have somebody sit down. Or okay, mostly the youth. Yeah. They like it when they're tattooing girls because you have complex stuff. You understand? Girls come in, they want to get naked and all. Little people, little men love that. Yeah. They love to see a woman naked. But now this is about discipline. <laughs> We understand. Okay. There is no way you're gonna draw a chick's booty, a tattoo if you're not disciplined. You will never do a proper job. I think I think a lot of a lot of girls a lot of girls have been have been uh, <clears throat> you know they have they have um, dropped their pennies for, for for a lot of tattoo artists who were not disciplined. You know, I've had a lot of stories though. Come on, let's 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 be realistic. To be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I think it's quite crazy. I think it's quite crazy because I've never had a situation whereby I will. I've never had such kind of situation. Not so even. Simple. Not. Nice. Not even one of my clients have ever asked or say, "Okay, you know what, girl? I think I like you." I've never done such a thing. Because the moment you come in here and you want something done by me, that means I have to do it properly. I want you to come back tomorrow. Yeah, don't, don't I want you to. Yeah. I want you to refer your friends and say, "Let's go there." You understand? Let's go. There's a whole lot of temptations. But so do you think it's, it's one of the things that sets you apart from the from the other tattoo artists? Because obviously, you yeah. know, um, if my girlfriend comes here uh -huh. and gets a uh, gets a tattoo and they actually like it. Yeah. And for them to recommend, obviously, it, it comes. It all comes back to comes down to um, the whole discipline, like you're saying, and also the, yeah, pro discipline. the whole professional side. Respect, of you. Exactly. respect. Okay, because respect is the most important thing, and with that, you can go a long way. That's you understand. That's true. You need to respect other people, especially the females. There's no way I'm gonna take advantage of a, of a lady just because I'm a tattoo artist and I want. Because <laughs> either way, they're gonna come here. They want something done. No, it's not about that. Okay. Okay. It's okay. never been about that. So, 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 what, what, what's, what's your plan now when it comes to the whole um, you starting the whole academy thing? Are you enrolling kids? How are you? What are you doing? How are you doing the whole thing? So that we. 
to whoever is watching now and they're like, oh, okay, now they're talking. How do I then come right. through? So basically, um, we are enrolling people. I, I'm not, I haven't started enrolling them yet okay. Okay. because I'm, I'm, I'm putting out a structure excuse me i'm putting out a structure whereas in everybody else is able to access you know simply access the whole information to uh the whole inquire inquiries and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we're gonna enroll anybody anyone who wants to do tattooing okay. it don't matter how old you is as long as you have the passion you can do it you can do it. Okay. okay. It doesn't matter. You can't draw or what. As that was my stress. That was my stress. I always thought that for you to be a tattoo artist, you need to. Obviously, I told myself, okay, I didn't. I never did any drawing at school, so I'm canceling myself out of being a tattoo artist. No, no, no. You can't do that. You you can't do that. You there's a lot of room. You, there's a lot that can be done. It's not necessarily that you need to know how to draw. Okay. <laughs> All right. You understand. All right. So you, you heard it, guys. I'm sure they. I'm not the only one. There's a lot of people out there that were thinking, you know what? Um, I would have loved to be a tattoo artist, but the fact okay. that I can't draw and all that. Okay, guys, this is a part where I need to. Why is the? What's okay. happening now? So now, okay, I was using I was using a, a liner, a round liner. So now we're gonna shade this art. Dude, you should <laughs> see this. Okay, guys. So um. The first needle I had to see it is sealed and, uh, and all that. Um, so now we are moving into shading, like you said. We were lining, now we are shading. We shading. So, um, yo, you should see this needle, guys. But anyway, so I need to see that it's sealed. So if your tattoo artist doesn't show you the needle and just starts working, something is, wrong. something is wrong. You need to see the needle. You need to be the one opening the needle yourself, Thanks. checking the expiry date because there's an expiry date behind the needle. Yes. But yeah, so okay, cool, cool. We move. Are you? Yeah, okay, you, can, you, you may kindly open this uh, for me. Just try and not damage it. As you have seen, it's not damaged. Yep. Uh, because uh, that's money, my friend. <laughs> that's money, my friend. So yeah, we are gonna take it one step at a time. Just strap it off nicely, and uh, I can pull it out, right? Let me just sort you out here. So now we're gonna do some shading. Okay, so so while we are busy, I just wanted to ask something. As an artist, um, can we discuss the Bulawa industry? Because I feel like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of excuses, there's a lot of stories, there's a lot of back and forth when it comes to why the industry is stuck. I don't know if you don't see it, but I don't know if it's the right way. It's stuck. For me, I feel like the industry is just stuck. Stuff is not happening. And there's a lot of blame game that's happening. Someone saying, no, it's no, you right there. Uh, I'm a very self-contained person. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super focused when it comes to something that I'm doing at a certain uh, time, you understand? Thank you. Um, I've worked with, uh, I'll give you an, a good example. All right. I remember the time we were doing Bigger Than Hip Hop. Okay, okay. All right. I'm giving Bigger you, Than Hip Hop I, was done at Cap to Cairo. Cap to Cairo. Yeah, I Cap to Cairo. Cairo. It was being run by Thon La Rock from the uh, Rap Labs. Okay. Uh, you know the guy. Yeah. Right. from Kulumani, right? Yeah. yeah. So, when we was doing all that, I know a couple of peoples, a couple of cats, that took notes from what we were doing. We was doing it for the love, not for the money. money yeah. You understand? But we was able to make and do our own shows. Go out of city, go to Victoria Falls, go to Harare, out of, here, out of the city, Matopos. We've worked with certain companies like our Alliance France, Quieto from Switzerland. We've worked with Zim Germany Society. We've oh, worked wow. With, oh, wow. I've worked it's because of the content you're creating. So, I'll give you an example of somebody who took notes. Look at uh, ASAF right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm quite happy with, with uh, the guy. Yeah. I remember the times we was uh, 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 doing uh, some bigger than hip hop shows and all that. They were just there. And one time he talked about it. He talked about it. Hey, yo, man. We we were seeing you, we thought this was gangster and what and all that. Yes, we portrayed a certain element, you know, and, and this whole thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If there's a script, if there's a script, 
But we need to act accordingly. Do you understand? I get you. I get you. I get you. We need to act accordingly. Mm -hmm. That's why we was able to work with certain companies. I remember one time I worked with, uh, that was in 2008. I worked with Robbie Mall, Robbie Mall from Robbie Mall Studios uh, in Ireland. Okay. Uh, this guy bought a couple of songs from me. He actually paid in cash, man. Like, and how much was that at that time? It was a lot, man. More than eight hundred dollars. That was Ooh. US dollars. I'm like, I'm like, dude, are you messing with me right now? This homie is struggling with bond notes and what? What? You remember and that time? And you come with, with like like proper uh, US oh, dollars. Like, all right, this is it, Dan. It's it's art. Somebody, if somebody can appreciate such, you know, I that think means it, it it's going the right direction. Okay. And I've worked with Mzo Seven. Mzo Seven is working right now. Today is in Harare. Okay, with ASAP again. They're in Harare. Okay. They've got a show in Harare. The cricket. These are big things that I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't say uh, there's back and forth and what what. People are bitter because they don't want to work. You understand? Okay, okay. People are bitter because they don't want to work. People like being spoon fed. It's never like that. So, so when I personally feel like the industry is cool, just we just have bitter people that don't want to work. Look, you can. Let me tell you something, man. If you're ever in a, if you ever been in a broke society, everybody else is beat up by some. They will create right. excuses because they can't provide, they can't meet certain standards, they, they can't do a certain something. They will always complain and they beat a man. It's a broke society, you understand? It's a broke mentality. There's always excuses about something. People are working. Serious artists that we've always worked with, they are working, they're getting paid. Those ones who keep crying now and then, talking <laughs> crap. <laughs> Acting like Jay Z and what what? I think also also the the problem is the whole celebrity mentality, the whole celebrity status that people have right now. But how are you gonna do such a thing, man? And come on, uh, tell me how, how? Okay, because the real artists, the ones who are always working, we have a studio right here. Yeah, I see people coming in and out. I, I'm observing. Um, ever since uh, I just did a couple of songs, uh, we also have a professional studio in Pretoria in South Africa. Okay. It's called Drip Gang Records. All right. Uh, Drip Gang Records uh, consists of uh, Carter May, uh, King Rodney from Harare. I'm talking about the Harare boys. Yeah, yeah. These boys are serious. They want to work. They want to get that money. We're all about that money. You understand? True that. Uh, I'm talking about King Active. King Active is also doing something recently. Like right now, he, he released an EP. Uh, he's about trap. Trap music. Okay. 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 But he's doing something. Exactly. Then we've got uh, Block Baby. Uh, we're talking about beats and bars. If you know about beats, beats and, bars, and bars, look yeah. it up online. Look it up online, I'm talking about beats and bars. You find out a whole lot more about it. Uh, also get the Drip Gang uh, records, uh, merchandise online and what, what, you know, you, you get all that. Shut Search up. Drip Gang records, you find it, you find a whole lot of stuff that merchandise from t shirts, anything you want. The Harare boys are working, uh, the Harare boys are pushing. I, I wouldn't call them Harare boys. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't call them okay, a Okay, boy. okay, okay. Because look, man, this is family. This, yeah. is, this is family. I think this also the problem starts when you start. If you wanna, yeah, the moment you start saying, mm, are you from there, yeah. you, you know, you wanna separate. That's there's a problem. Unnecessary, you know. There's a problem. Don't separate them. Don't separate them. Okay, now we're doing ink packing. <laughs> I, now I can see. Now I feel like this is, we are only starting now. Now this is not getting serious. This is, okay, now it's. And now it's like we're starting a bit, friend. but you, we'll go back to our normal. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, hey, my friend. It's, what's it's, your take? What's your take on the new track? Um, what's your it's 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 Yeah. What's your honest, honest opinion on that track? Don't be biased in what in whatever way. Can you just give me your honest opinion? Look, man. 
uh, I, I don't judge nobody, you understand? Okay. Uh, everybody is different. Everybody is creative in their own way. Everybody is unique in their own way, you understand? Yes. What what you feel, what you like, it's not like it's what I like or what I fuck with, you understand? Ikulumende, yeah, it's a dope track. We was going through it from the top, yeah, from yesterday, actually, because it dropped yesterday. It dropped yesterday. Yeah, it dropped yesterday. So, uh, hey, hey. yeah, you want to say hi to the, 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 Senko. Ah, we gave it to Senko. Uh, yeah, Tapa Senko. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, so it dropped yesterday, yes. It dropped yesterday. The so 24th, yeah. Exactly. We was actually going to it. Uh, because we are also an established man. We want to do proper videos and proper stuff, you know. So we're watching the visuals as well. Uh, Trash. I, I would say trash. Trash. E everybody else has got their own point of view. Like how everybody else has got their own opinion. Just okay. like the same way everybody else got their <laughs> fucking asshole, man. Like, it's, it's like, come on, man. Okay. So, all right. There is certain acts mm -hmm. you can talk about. There is certain acts you can pick from there and say, nah, this wasn't really necessary for yeah. you. Because when you play the first... Uh, the first artist, uh, the first verse, or whatever it is, you're gonna stop at a certain point. That means the rest of the guys you're not gonna listen to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? I get it. It's about a setup. It's about a setup. So, in such, in such a, a, a song, who do you think chooses? Do you think, yeah, like as an individual, you, you choose how you want your, your, your parts to be short and ah. when? All right, now you've talked about this. I thought, because I was talking to Siwoton, uh, ex studio producer. Yes. I was talking to Siwoton, I'm like, okay, Siwoton, we are watching this, yeah? But, I see everybody else is coming through in a, a different scenery, yes, yes. Uh, you know, different spots. I also asked the same thing. Yeah. Did they select, did they choose mm -hmm. to have that certain... For instance, I did not really get the idea that somebody else can go to a to a garage, was it a, a Zuba garage or whatever. Yeah, it. yeah, so, uh, yeah. Okay. That was not cool. Because the way they even shot that part, it's like, it's not even edited. It's not, it's, that part was... I don't know, man. It was crazy. It was it's, also it's not nice. I think also the um, we can't represent each other like that. Yeah, yeah. We, we can't do that. There was also the part where the crowd. I think it's a corner store. You know. So the the part where there's a corner store. Yeah. I, I also I think the 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 um, the whole scenes are just they just like setting up our minds. Like yeah. you said, you get to a point where you just stop. Yeah, definitely. You wanna stop, and you're not gonna listen to the rest of the guys. Of which that's, that's a mess, man. That's a mess. But now I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they laid it up. I can't blame nobody. But I okay. Um, let's leave the visuals. Let's come to the verses. Uh huh. Who do you think made it who? Oh, man. Uh, right. I'm going to tell you this one time and one time only. When I listen to a song, I'm not looking for the lion. I'm not looking for uh, I'm not looking for a zebra because the lion's gonna child a zebra. Yeah. I'm not looking for all that. <laughs> uh, I'm all about lyrical content. What you talking about? Are you creative? Are you you feel me? For instance, okay. The first guy who just hit it through, Nati O, just went in and properly laid out his stuff. Properly laid out his stuff. There's certain cats that I can listen to from there, but nah. Okay, I'm I'm not, I'm, I'm I not feeling the vibe. I got my answer. I'm not feeling. I got my answer. I, I don't discriminate nothing. I don't judge anybody. Everybody else got their own way of, of displaying how they wanna their their stuff to, mm. to pop out. You understand? No man, that's no man. But anyway, overally, that song I did not like it. <laughs> I did 
like it. I did not like it. It's not a song that I can wake up in the morning or at any given time and download. So, it so and it's, it's not. It's no. I'd rather not. listen to. To fire him. I was about to, to get there. That song is too much. That song is too much. That song is too much. I can listen to that. But that Hollow Man, I feel like they tried so hard. You know, they were trying so hard to pull out that fire emoji stunt. Yeah. That's the only song they've done better, best. This Hollow Man, uh, delete, 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 like days of wake and feel the film. <laughs> so, can someone send me that song so I can delete it? I want, you want. Okay, um, um, still I on that, or still yeah. on that, on that, on that group yeah. uh, project, have you had the um, Iwisa Cypher? Right. This morning, somebody posted the Iwisa Cypher in the art group. I was actually watching that. Uh, I, I feel like a lot could have been done better. <laughs> but, but who am I to say that, my G? Who am I? I'm but no, close. let's be honest, Tico. Uh, let's uh, be honest. Uh, when people put out their works, yeah. they are putting out for us, right? Yeah. So they definitely need to get feedback. that feedback. So we, we need not hold back, because remember, we're talking of artists that are still going to put out work. So as an artist, if you're gonna take my 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 feedback as as hate, then yeah. you are not an artist. Uh-huh. You right. are not an artist. Okay. So now, who's the artist? Who's the audience? Who's the who's the buyer? Who's the seller? Who's the buyer? Because as far as I'm concerned, in my city, everybody else wants to be the seller, not the buyer. So I don't know if there's, <laughs> I don't know if there's any fans, or, because everybody else tells themselves that they're, they're artists. Yeah. Everybody else is doing something. That's true. Everybody That's true. else. If you're if you're not if you're not the, the 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 one behind the mic, the one behind the camera, if you are not the one behind the camera and the one behind the keyboard, the producer, you are you are just some, you are something. Exactly. So, what's your honest opinion on the Iwisa side? Uh, Iwisa, I'm yet to go over over it again and see what's happened because I just checked it out today this morning. Yeah. I wasn't really satisfied, but I need to go through it and check it out. All I look for is. Uh, lyrical content, um, metaphors, and how they Who relate would things you think out. Really gave it uh, uh, I, I, nah, nah, we can't talk about Iwisa right now. Still fresh. Please, please ask me about this on our next episode. I'll tell you properly about Iwisa side. You understand? <laughs> I feel anyway, it. Anyway, who chose the characters? Who chose the who, uh, who wait? I, I don't know about that. I I think um, we need to know that. That's another good question. Yeah, because I feel like who chose it? you need to be. You also need to be strategic when you when you come up with your people for for any project whatsoever. Yeah. But anyway, like you say, it's still fresh. Let's let it. Yeah. Let's let it leave. Uh, let it mature. Let's let, 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 let it brew. We're man. gonna we're gonna let you some mature like wine. Yeah. Uh, then we're gonna come back to it. Right. Like, I like my red wine, man. <laughs> but anyway, cool is good. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, these artists are working. Yeah. I'm yeah. seriously excited. Somebody's doing something. Okay. I, I also feel it's like it's an effort. Yeah. It's an effort. Trust me on that one. It's unlike somebody who complains about ah, they're not doing anything for our city. They're not doing anything for our arts. That's crap, man. Because already, but that's that's something for the city. Thank that's you. something for the, as much as we are gonna pinpoint or find fault or whatnot. Yeah. And it's still something for the city. Then wait two, three months from now, someone say, ah, the people from our city are not working. So what was that? Exactly. You see, but they did an effort. They actually put so much effort for them to put it out there and call it the winter. But now I need to find out who is dealing with all this stuff. How are they selecting? How is the criteria? How is, you know, because you need to have a solid project. Yeah. Like, like you guys have solid projects. You're just not shooting. You're not just shooting stuff. Yeah. You understand? Any, anybody can shoot anything. Anybody can do anything. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you an example right now of uh, uh, Nigerian music. 
these guys are gurus. Those guys, those guys are they're gone. working. Those they're guys working. are gone. Uh, give an example of uh, uh, an example of Benna. Benna is a beast. Benna is a beast because he worked from day one. He never stopped working. He kept on pushing. He kept on pushing. Today is that giant he is today because of work. Practice make the better thing tomorrow. Thank you. Thank so you can't always say, "Hey man, I'm a tattoo artist," but you're not doing the work. Practice. Benna has has better. also traveled, man. He Bena has is... traveled. Why would somebody call you to a different country if you're not good at what you're doing? Yeah. There's no point. But you're good at it. They'll call you out. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, Tomorrow yeah. we'll see you guys at sway in the morning. Ooh. You know, with Monday replenishment and, and all boom, that. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, man. <laughs> because you put in work. Yeah. You put in work. You understand? Shut up, man. Yeah, you put in work. So people need to understand, man. It's, it's just not a one day thing. It's not. It's a process. <laughs> it's a process. It's a process. But anyway, shout out to all the artists who are putting in work right now in the city, in the country. I never look at the, the country, the city only. I look at the country as a whole. I'm excited. I'm excited. My fours are working. I'm excited. Everybody else is working. You understand? So, so I want to wanna put you on a spot, right? Yeah. I want to put you on a spot. Yeah. Um, give me your top five in the country, not in the city, because I've I've just realized that you don't. You're not so. Nah, I, I don't. I don't. I, I think outside the box. Yes. Okay. So give me your top five in the country, like like artists. Not my my top five. Yeah. People my, who are like working. People that are working, my top five. I'ma go with. Uh, okay, I'm a, I'm a boy. I'ma go with my boy Mzo Seven. Mzo Seven. Shout out Mzo Seven. Shout out X Studios. He's working. You understand? He's working. That's uh, one. All right. Not in particular order. Okay. Not in any manner. <laughs> but he's also in the top five. You understand? <laughs> and then. Um, my boy SF, okay. SF is also working, he's putting in work for him to be where he is right now. He's but now I feel like he does, he did put in work, he did put in work, but I feel like ever since the whole uh, death gym thing happened, I... Right. Conte off, man. You know what, let me tell you something. There, there is uh, a story behind the story, you know that, right? Yeah. You guys need to talk to him, ask him. He will tell you his story behind the story. Okay. Def Jam, everybody else thinks, okay, when you sign with Def Jam, you're going to be rolling on flying, huh? high rollers and shit, you know, and all that. There is a whole lot more to it, you understand? There is a lot more to it. So we need to understand at the end of the day that it's not about one individual. I get it. I feel it. Yeah, it's not about one individual. He's got his own side of story. Uh, I think we're gonna try and get him on. Yes. I think you're right. Uh, yeah. So that you guys of, know the real. There's a lot of speculation yeah. in the. No, show. everybody else. Like I told you, man. It's like an asshole. Everybody else is gonna talk about whatever opinions. Everybody else got opinions, man. That's true. That's true. You know, hey, somebody will like because they can't do what you're doing. Somebody will hate because they can't do what you're doing. Okay. You understand? Okay, I feel you. So, because I can't do what you're doing, and I feel like I could have done better. What the fuck, man? You could have done better, but, but you're not, not doing, doing it. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Man. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's no, 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 I feel you. <laughs> For me, it's Okay, insane. so let's, let's move right, right along. Yeah. Uh, three left. Five. Still on your top five. Okay. Okay, I say that. Uh, all right, then I'll go to Nati O. Okay. Nati O is working. He's working hard. Uh, right now, he's been selected and nominated uh, for this Bob Mali. You know, the, that's work, man. Like I'm not just talking. That's that's it, a lot. It, 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 it's work. That's a all lot. Right? That's a lot. It's work. I didn't understand though. Um, the whole Bob Mali album. What's that? Well, it's uh, like I told you. Carry on tradition. His legacy lives forever. Mm. <laughs> also, so this, this is like a tribute. Yeah, it's like a tribute. Uh, you know, tribute something. So they're gonna make an album 
different artists from different um, countries. Big like shout out to Winky D. And Winky, Winky is crafting. He's been crafting, man. But one time, I remember 2014, 20, was it 2014? 2014, 2015, uh, the time uh, when he uh, released, is it disappear? When we said disappear, Ooh, that was 20, wow, wow. 20 what, what was 20, 21? That was 15. 2015, the, the beginning of 2015, I, I was excited because I was competing with a giant. Everybody else knew Winky D. When it comes to Sky's Metro and my songs, I remember I've been like number one for six weeks in a row and beating that disappear song. I'm like, shout out to Winky D though. I'm like, come on, man, come on, man. Okay, day and day hit that spot. Six weeks in a row, number one. Who was doing it right? What song was, was it? Day and day. Day and day. Day and day. So it's you on the track and who else? It's just me on the track. <laughs> no feature, no nothing, and you are there for six. You can look it up. You you find it on SoundCloud. Day and day. It's part of the EP album. Uh, and then we also had another song with POI. POI shout out to POI. POI is also more like a you know like a chibaba in it. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Those are the uh, big to the city crew, yeah, also, right? He, he, my nigga underrated, but he put in some work, you understand? Uh, shout out to POI. Um, and shout out to LA Josh for the production and all that. So, yeah, okay, we're at number one now, two. Um, so, we've got Zo7, we've got ASAP, we've got Nazi All. Yeah. Alright. Then I'm not going so much far, Papi. Not even far away. Kitlo introduced uh, one of my homies who's running a show today. Lights. Lights. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's putting in work. Uh, people can discriminate all that. He's been working. He stood up and said, okay, fine. How are we going to do this? Because everybody else is charging an arm and a leg for, for videography and all that. But these guys did all this, you know, in school and they, you guys, you know why. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad. That's work. For me, it's work. Shout out. It's shout in the archives. Shout out. That lasts forever. I'm like, you know, somebody will just pull up and say, I mean, I'm an artist. What you got to show for? What are you doing? <laughs> What you got to show for? You know, there's people that you're gonna ask, so what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I'm, you know, no, I'll show you, just I don't have my phone with me. You see now. You see now. So, one time, okay, most of the time, uh, I, I never tell anybody I, I, I'm an artist, I never tell anybody I do music and what, what. So, wherever I go, people always ask me, hey man, are you into music? Are you a musician? I never tell, I, I don't talk about it. It's not like I talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they pick that up, but we always representing everywhere we go. That's so I just give them the handles, Tico Lugubrious, Tico Lugubrious, you know, uh, Facebook, Tico Lugubrious, uh, Instagram, Tico Lugubrious, Twitter, Tico Lugubrious, SoundCloud, Tico Lugubrious, here who you knew now, you don't even recognize. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just give them the handles. People like what they like, they don't like what they don't like, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I did stuff, I did music according to a feel. According to a certain feel, I did, uh, you know, we could work on a, on a, on a script mm -hmm. and say today we're talking about, uh, let's say today we're talking about HIV and AIDS. We're going to work this project and we're going to make sure it's involved in all these HIV and AIDS pro projects. Uh, 1st of December, we, we, we in it. We everywhere. I remember the time I got a call from Zendeleni people living with HIV and AIDS. I'm like, what? Okay. Oh yeah, Which you, you, guys, you guys heard the song? I don't know where they got the song from, I don't know where they had the song from. Exactly. <laughs> but we got